Hades is the latest opus from indie hero Supergiant Games, a studio that simply doesn't miss. It's a game that offers a serious challenge and gives you the tools to experiment and adapt the world to your will, and it's our favorite game of the year. This roguelike action RPG riffs fast and loose on Greek mythology, telling the story of Zagreus, son of Hades, god of the dead, and his attempts to navigate the labyrinthian halls of the underworld to earn his freedom. Over and over and over, Zag suffers death and defeat at the hands of his father's henchmen in the depths of Tartarus or the fields of Elysium, and each time he pulls himself out of a pool of blood in the house of Hades to try again. Ah, oh, cheers for that, Meg. While the roguelike structure itself might sound familiar, Supergiant Games has woven a story through Hades that means that death isn't a setback, but rather another important step of progression. And that progression is felt through not just earned items, but a depth in the world's details. Zagreus has a history with nearly every character, and stories and moments with them are meted out as you live, die, and repeat in a blood-drenched soap opera. Bosses you challenge will remember if they've previously beaten you and will remark in kind, or a soul can disparage you if you've trounced them a dozen times. Underworld denizens will often remark on your exploits, how you died, who you've been spending your time with, your preference in build or weapon choice. It's remarkable and helps create a truly lived-in and ever-evolving world that convinces you of just how trapped you are. The writing here is smart, snappy, and full of snark. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? And while it certainly helps that every character is smoking hot, which is very much a part of Hades' appeal, it's also a dream to play. Hades is beautiful to look at. Its gorgeous, hyper-stylized art design is a joy in and out of the action, but even more seductive to control. Between different weapon types and the numerous boons handed down from the gods of Mount Olympus, many of which cleverly complement or augment one another, there are seemingly endless ways to tackle all of the Underworld's challenges. You can find a build you like and stick with it, or improvise with whatever is offered to you in the middle of a run in order to try something different. A passive upgrade system helps each subsequent journey get a little easier too, so Hades never feels entirely insurmountable even as its challenges ramp up. It's got a fantastic shelf life too. Even when you've reached the end of a run a half a dozen times, there are still builds to explore, weapons to master, and environments to better understand, all with the express purpose of turning Zagreus into a balletic killing machine, not to mention tons of new conversations to have well past simply beating it. You want to mess with me again, Rex? Well then come on! Just when you think you've got Hades figured out, Additional post-game features come into play that allow even more directional control over challenges. Whether you're getting up close and personal with enemies using your sword, sticking to the corners and picking off enemies from afar with a bow, or dashing through areas laying poisonous traps, Hades combat is all about options. If you manage to perfect one, there are countless others to best. Hell, there are even cosmetic items you can buy with in-game coin to redecorate the House of Hades to better suit your personal style. It's the volume of these options and systems that helps keep players invested after each death and in turn makes Hades so consistently impressive. Hades takes all of these systems and spins them into a cohesive whole much larger than the sum of its parts. The relationships you forge between characters have a direct impact on the boons and items you're awarded and inform how you play during any given escape attempt. You dance between white-knuckle action and genuinely moving conversations with characters you've grown to care about without either element feeling like a side note. And death, a disappointing consequence in so many other roguelikes, manages to instead inspire excitement here as you're greeted with friendly faces and the drive to try something new on your next run. Supergiant has a short but affecting history of creating stylish and thoughtful characters and worlds, but this is its masterwork. That's why it's our honor to call Hades IGN's 2020 Game of the Year. Hey there, Zagman. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. <laughs>